Welcome back here, CBS 12 News at 9. For almost a decade, a South Florida organization has been helping students with big ideas on how to help their community. Since 2015, Philanthropy Tank has awarded over $700,000 in funding for student-led projects, including those here in Palm Beach County. Now, we love talking about Philanthropy Tank here. Joining us to talk more about the upcoming finals is finalist, 10th grader American Heritage, Maya Bahura. Uh, thank you so much, Maya, for joining us this morning. Thank you. I'm really glad to be here. Okay. Let's First off, let's talk about Philanthropy Tank for anyone who who hasn't uh, uh, watched our coverage or hasn't heard of it before, tell us what the process is that got you to where you are today. So I learned about Philanthropy Tank because I had already started Endgame Education, but I really wanted a way to be able to expand the organization and reach more people. So after applying, we did interviews, and after becoming a finalist, we were able to work with all of the amazing people at Philanthropy Tank to develop our goals, our project, and eventually at the finals event on March 8th at the Kravis Center, we'll be able to present our project to the investors and see if we'll be able to be awarded funding. And if you do win, then what happens after that? So we get funding for up to about a year and amazing mentorship from one of the mentors of the investors and we'll be able to work with them to be able to expand our project and further our goals. So Wonderful. you mentioned the name of it, Endgame Education is your project. Give us the elevator pitch. What is that all about? So Endgame Education offers free online and accessible chess instruction for elementary school, public school students in Palm Beach County. And it's really amazing because I've been playing chess since I was around three years old. And just over the past more than a decade, I've seen how chess has evolved in Palm Beach County. And from what I've seen, chess tutoring is overall very inaccessible, expensive, and overall time consuming. So by creating this organization, I was able to provide this opportunity to learn chess to students that might not be able to have it otherwise. Wow, it's so interesting too. You know, how do you hope that this will kind of change communities by, by learning how to play chess? So I've seen how chess has benefited me, improving my memory, attention span, helping me grow my confidence, and even helping me in my academic life through uh, increasing my standardized test scores by having that better memory and attention span. I want to be able to provide that to other elementary school students that might not be able to have this opportunity, especially seeing that over the past few years, especially during the peak of the pandemic, we saw that those standardized test scores were going down dr drastically. So by providing this opportunity, I'll be able to help these students both with learning this incredible game and helping them in their academic lives as well. So next week is, is the big uh, day. You got to make your pitch to these investors. We wish you the best of luck. It was great to learn more about Philanthropy Tank. And no matter what happens, you've got a really bright future. Mm -hmm. So you we're want so us glad over. to meet you. We, yes. do give, we give it to you. <laughs> right. If we, we had the it. money. <laughs> All right. Maya, thank you so much. Thank you thank so much. Thank you so much for coming here to see you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, we've got more CBS 12 News at 9 coming up after this. Don't go anywhere.